Hi guys, welcome to yet another arcade one up slash Raspberry Pi slash Retro Pi slash Emulation Station video. In this tutorial video, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to scrape your games so you can get all the nice images, you can get all the videos, you can get the instructions as well, the instructions and uh, a little bit of bio around the game. And if you're not sure what I mean, then I mean something like this. So if I go into the, uh, I don't know, Daphne say. Because it seems to be the famous ones. You'll see we've got the uh, the video playing in the background. We've got a little bit of information going in the bottom right hand corner. We've got the correct name on the left. And we've got the uh, Astron Belt marquee at the top of the actual screen there as well. And it's the same for most. And if I go down these as well. Uh, so like Dragon's Lair. Uh, Dragon's Lair 2. And they're quite good. They just add that little bit something extra to your actual arcade machine. Now... The systems that I want to have a look at today, I've left purposes, purposes blank so I can show you guys how, how to do it. For example, the PSP. Now the PSP, you'll see, I've got games on there, but I haven't got any information. I've got no marquees, I've got no videos, I've got no BIOS in the bottom right-hand corner. And it's the same for uh, the likes of, uh, where are we at now? Uh, game and watch. I've got no information in there on the game and watch as well. And it's the same with the PlayStation. So the PlayStation ones on there, I've got no information on there neither. So we're now going to go over to my laptop. I'm going to show you how to start scraping the systems for the PlayStation and for the PSP. And then we're going to come back over to the, the uh, arcade and I'm going to show you it all in its glory. See you in a minute. First of all then, what you've got to do is you've got to install one of the two scraping files to your Raspberry Pi. Now I'm going to install both of them here because I'm going to go through with you how to use both of them. So, but to do that you need to install them. And you, you first of all you've got to exit to the command prompt here and either by exiting emulation station or you can go into Raspberry config through the menu on your Raspberry Pi. You can do that but I just prefer to do it like this. And you need to type in that code there guys. You need to type in sudo squiggly line slash retro pi dash setup slash retropie underscore setup dot sh and I will flash that up in front of uh, in front of you now in bigger letters so you can see it and then when you press enter that puts you into the retropie setup page now there is a reason why I like doing this through putting it will come apparent later on you need to in, you need to install the two programs so to do that you need to go into manage packages you need to manage the optional packages and if you scroll all the way to the bottom You've got the two scrapers, so you've got scraper and skyscraper. So the easiest thing to do, guys, just to press the enter button, and then I've already installed them. So you would you would install from source or from binary. So that would be the uh, scraper, and then we've got a skyscraper as well. There. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna update scraper because I haven't done it for a while. But if you install them, and then we'll uh, once that's been done, we'll come back and I'll show you the next stage. So once that's installed and you're back to this main page here, the only way you can actually use Scraper or Skyscraper is if you've actually exited Emulation Station on your system. I'll show you what I mean. If I try and go into... If I try and go into the configuration and options, it comes up saying the Scraper must not be run while Emulation Station is running. Now, I've got Emulation Station running on the arcade machine, so that's behind us. So I'm going to exit Emulation Station on here. There you go, and I've exited on there now. So need, now this time I go into the uh, configuration option screen. You'll see it loads up. Now, so you'll see the systems I have preferred on there where we've got um, thumbnails only enabled, prefer screenshot enabled, arcade source Italia, console source screen scraper, ROM names are there, the games DB, uh, game list overwrite, user ROMs folder enabled, download videos enabled because I want videos as well. We're not going to scrape all the systems because I'll be here all week, the amount of games I've got on my system, but we're going to scrape the chosen systems and we're going to go down to PSX. When we've done that, we press the spacebar button to highlight it and press the OK button and we'll let it do its, uh, do its thing. And I'll just fast forward this bit because it'll take a little bit of time to download and write everything to the, uh, to the memory card.
And then when you get this message up saying the ROMs have been scraped, that should be it done. Now I'll show you what that's actually done there. What that done is in the PSX uh, folder, it's actually downloaded all these files. You can see the times here that it's downloaded it for us. So all the JPEGs, all the videos, all the marquees and everything like that. And that is in the ROMs, PSX, images, folder of your uh, of your RetroPie, of your SD card. Technically what it's done to make that all work is it's, it's produced this games list document here. And this games list document here tells RetroPie where to find all that images. So if you open it with Notepad++ you can see it's got, this is the this, this is the information that, that scrape has just wrote in. So it's FIFA World Cup. That's the name of the file. That's what it wants to be displayed on the screen. It gives you a bit of the description. It tells you where the image is. It tells you where the marquee is and it tells you where the video is as well. It uses all that information to display it on the screen. So if you ever wanted to write your own or do it without Scraper or get your own videos, you'd literally just need to change this video uh, script here, this video location with whatever you want to put on it. It's a simple. Now the that. second program that I want to show you is a program called Skyscraper. Now I particularly think this is a more powerful program. So if you find that Scraper doesn't work for you or doesn't capture all the images or doesn't get as much information or it's down because sometimes the stuff goes down, the sources go down, I tend to use Skyscraper as well. So we're going to scrape the PSP uh, ROMs with these this time. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So we're going to Skyscraper. And again, we've already installed it. So we're going to go to the configuration and options. Now this is a bit different this. You'll see on here you've got a dash, gather and cache resources, dash games list and dash other. Now they're the headers. So if you imagine that there is the header for these three. That's the header for these three and that's the header for these three. So I'm going to show you how I've got these options set up. We're going to start with the game list generation. So the gen we don't. We, we, if you click on the generate options, we want it to use the source name for the ROMs. So it's going to rename the ROMs to the source name. We're going to remove the bracket info, and we need to use the ROM folders for the game list media and data. That just messes around with how it actually translates the information and writes them on the screen. Okay, so we're going to we're going to go back. Uh, the gather sources, I'm going to use Screenscape, Screen Scraper because that seems to be best for me. But you've got ArcadeDB, the Games DB, and Open Retro and World of Spectrum as well if you need them ones. Uh, and we're not going to get to do the rest of it. I, I want to download the videos because that's what I wanted to do as well. You can edit the config artwork and the alias map if you need to, but I never touch any of them. Now, because this is we're going to do it for the PSP, I am now going to press the show you how to find them. So you need to gather the resources. So we're going to gather the resources for the PSP and for the game and watch as well and see if we can find any information out for there. So to do that we need to go into the, the gather resources. So this is where it's going to look for all the information. We're going to put an asterisk next to the game and watch. And we're also going to put an asterisk next to the PSP. Then when we press start you'll notice the screen will start counting up with, with files that it's found. You'll see what I mean. So And then I'll fast forward this just so you can see what it's like at the end. So start the gathering process, press OK, let's go. So there we go guys, I mean it took a bit of time to do, uh, but obviously there's, there's loads of games on there to do. So it goes and gets all the information, it downloads it to a cache file on your uh, out of a cache file on your micro SD card. Anyway, you get this you get this menu here. You're going to press OK because it's gathered the information. And now you need to write that information to your SD card in the appropriate place. And to do that, we're going to go down. We've already been in the generate options, remember? So that's all set up as it should be. We're going to generate the game list. As soon as we press this, it's going to start doing a load more writing to the SD card. Put the information where it needs to go. And then we'll show you what that looks like when it's done. So now that I've generated the uh, the games list, I'll just show you quickly what it's done. If I open up the RetroPie um, SD card with the ROMs and the PSP, you'll see the games list like we did a little bit earlier on with the uh, with the scraper information. But you've got a media folder this time, and here has got all the videos, all the screenshots. It's got all the marquees. It's got everything that it needs from there. So now that should be it done and dusted. So I'm gonna finish on the computer here. 
I'm going to reboot emulation station and it is as simple as going back out, coming out of it all, typing in typing in emulation station and that will reboot and I'll see you across the other side. So now we'll just set an emulation station up to start up here so we'll just see what happens when it does start. So the three systems that we were looking for was the Game & Watch and the PSP using, using Skyscraper and then the uh, other one was the PlayStation using a normal scraper so let's go and find them. So we've got PlayStation so let's see what we get. And there we go, we have the videos, we have the information. So it has the videos and the information in the, in the bottom right hand corner. Some of them don't work, now if they don't work that means you go back into the scraper and set the, uh, the different sources and we'll try and find them then for you, but that looks good to me so far. That all looks great, now let's go and have a look at the PSP stuff. There we go, they've all been downloaded with videos and nice marquees there. Love the Simpsons game. And if we go into the game and watch. There we go, we've got video introductions of the actual games there. Quite good, we like them. So there we go, guys. We've got the uh, scraping working on there. The videos are all on there. So I hope that's been helpful for you because I've had a few people asking me how they do it. So thanks for watching. Again, like always, if you do have any more requests or any information, or want to know information about how to do anything, just drop me a comment or drop me a line on Twitter or Facebook. But again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.